What's up, Carpies? Welcome back to our channel, the Team Carpio Vlogs. And for this vlog, guys, this is kind of special because today I will be sharing my experiences as a nursing student back at our school at Manila Titano Colleges or formerly known as Manila Doctors College during the event, the Alumni Forum under the Manila Doctors College of Nursing and the Alumni and External Affairs of that particular institution. So today I will bring you guys along with me as I share my experiences during my stay there as a student and probably give you a glimpse of my career progression all throughout these years. Almost 11 years already? Yeah, almost 12 years na yata. And as you can see, this is their poster. Yeah, and wow. Yes? <laughs> Uh, during their talk this uh, morning, yeah, and so may, motiv may pa motivational speaker po tayo, guys. Uh, under the alumni forums, I'm really excited to share more about my experiences to the nursing students. I hope they would be motivated with what I'm gonna share, and that you know, in some way, they would be inspired to finish their nursing course in Manila Titano Colleges. Yon. <laughs> so you mga behind the scenes is share ko na lang din sa inyo while waiting for the forum to start, di ba? Hey, hi to our vlog. Oh hi. hi guys, nigo vlog. Hi Jen. Wow. Asa si Bai ni ka? Ah, beauty siya. Ayan si Jen, si Kev, si Sir Jeff, at si Ninang Lizel is over there. Pero wala. Kevin Samson vlogs and stories po. Ayan, tama. Please promote your vlog, Kev. <laughs> Kevin Samson po on YT, maraming salamat. Push Mali. lang, push. Yes, my name is Miss Jen and I will be your only host for this morning. So since I am the only host, for this morning, help me naman if uh, my audio is clear by um, clicking ang ating reaction button sa baba. We can hear stories and experiences of our alumni in their chosen field of career. So this program aims to encourage and inspire our dear students, especially our first-year students. At kayo yun. For the External Relations and Professional Services Directorate, Dr. Lizelle E. Villanueva. This event would have not been made possible without the support of each and everyone present here. Okay, we're like Special 66. Special thanks to the external relations Oops. and professional 66 services 66 participants team already. For your generous effort. <gasps> Exciting! For more than others, College of Nursing. Not only that he was a great student scholar during his time, but a caring nurse, a competent clinical instructor, a creative marketing person, Definitely a culture adopted person being considered a top rate researcher abroad. A kind hearted friend, or to expound it, my good natured godson. And, of course, a family to the Titana community rolled into one. He will be properly introduced in a while. Good morning, everyone. Let me introduce to you our motivational speaker for this morning. Dr. Guillier, or Byron, as how his friends call him, is a proud alumnus of the Manila Doctors College, Batch 2009. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you your speaker and fellow Titan, Dr. Guillier Agustin Carpi. Thank you, Sir Jeff Corrales, for that amazing introduction. So, um, the, as a standard question, can you guys hear me? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, loud and clear. Let me just share my uh, slides for all of you guys. 
So don't worry, um, hindi natin siya gagawing boring kasi I know you guys, yung iba sa inyo siguro nakakagising lang and nakalog in but I can see promising faces, still photos ng mga students and I hope you guys are having a nice breakfast right now or just, you know, drinking your coffee or Milo or tea. Okay, so um, I will be giving a talk. So this is actually an outline of what the things I'm gonna share for you guys. So a little bit something about myself, um, my life as a college student, and the things that we should look forward to in the realm of education and nursing. So just something about myself, uh, actually Sir Jeff Corrales already gave you like a glimpse and encapsulated every um, thing that had happened in my whole career, but I will give you like some photos of it so that we could reminisce down the memory lane. And you know, um, it's really interesting because This was me when I was in your age. And this is actually around 16 years ago when we first set foot in Manila, doc, then Manila Doctors College and now Manila Titana Colleges. So I think this was me nung second year uh, ako nung community uh, time namin. Medyo stress tayo dyan, no? yung mga itsura natin dyan. But after graduation, this was me. I think, ewan ko kung ano yung mas payat ba dyan or mas ano, um... mas mukhang stress or baka relieved na dun sa photo sa right, no? But yeah, it's really interesting. And a trivia, nursing is not really my first choice sa course. I really wanted to be, uh, I mean, I, I really wanted to have mass communications or journalism. And I know you guys, maybe some of you guys are also experiencing that. Maybe nursing is not your first choice. But like what I did eventually when I got into nursing, I actually... loved um, the course and I loved the experience especially when we have the interaction with other people but of course your um, batch is somewhat special because I've heard you've never gone to the campus and that's hopefully I would give you and inspire you to you know um, hold on to your dreams and maybe in the future we can go back to the school face to face Sir Jeff Corrales have mentioned I've worked as a staff nurse in Manila Doctors Hospital and that was actually possible because I was a scholar of Manila Doctors Hospital and the Metrobank Foundation. Okay, so this was me during my clinical instructor and lecturer years at Titana. So, you know, uh, I really, I mean, for me, it was an opportunity to bring back my knowledge, my skills into my new students, di ba? Siguro, if I, I was still there at Titana right now, I'd probably be one of your professors too. But this, in fact, is really an honor and an opportunity for me to, you know, share what I've known you guys, what I know uh, to you guys as well. And because of that, uh, because of this stint over here, I was actually featured in these hot teachers will make you want to review harder for your tests. In a When in Manila article, and I think the article is still up until now. I guess I suspect, no, I never knew who sent this one, but I suspect it's one of the students who sent it anonymously. So, yon, nakita daw nila yon, and hopefully, um, yeah, it could serve an inspiration, wow, uh, to make you a review harder for your tests as well. And lastly, in 2015, I finished my PhD or my doctor in nursing management while I was teaching at Titana. And a lot of, you know, opportunities just opened up, diba? A lot of opportunities just opened up for me because of the nursing career, which you guys are actually, you know, um, it's really wise for you to have this one step of becoming a future nurse. And... Um, all of the hardships, especially now, like in the pandemic, it's always going to be there, but um, we're always going to look at the brighter side. And as we go along, I will tell you guys some tips as well on how to overcome stress sometimes, right? Especially when you are always having online classes and stuff like that. Okay, so in my free time, I travel over here. So my wife and I usually travel when it was safe to travel before. We've been to like some of the places in Asia. And when I was in Singapore, I actually had the chance to join, you know, yung mga marathon natin. I, I ran into the standard charter 42 kilometer, 32 kilometer, 21 kilometer, and the Ironman sa Cebu. And of course, vlogging. So if you guys have time, please subscribe to our channel, the Team Carpio Vlogs over there at YouTube. Ayan. So these are the activities that I've been doing 
I don't know how. <laughs> Paano ko siya naipasok lahat? But you know, if you love what you're doing, you have passion for it. If you love nursing, you have passion for nursing, and you have the goal to finish it, you will succeed no matter what happens. All right, going to the second part of the talk, my life as a college student. So I will also bring you guys back to our campus so that you know you would have your first hand experience from myself from my perspective campus life of course our our world i would like to say world famous because we nurse the world right and most of madoshans or titans actually are all over the world so literally this is the world famous diba um atrium of manila titana colleges and a lot of things has happened here especially those student activities even your um some of the nursing activities as well and a lot of memories really bring back when you see this facade over here. Okay, so in academics, this was actually me attending my online class. No, I was just joking. Um, this was me, I think, in second year. Tama, second year ako nyan. And actually, when I was in um in college, guys, um, I was assigned as the leader in the group. Deba may RLA groups ka. I was the leader for. Three years talaga. Or, kasi sa amin, yung RLE namin before, nag-start lang siya na second year talaga eh. So, three years akong leader dun. And that was me printing probably our nursing process. I'm not sure if you guys are introduced to that. But yeah, we all have that commonality. And hopefully, you would, you know, strive hard really to make good of your nursing process. Okay, so this was me during our first hospital experience over there. I look, I, hopefully, I look really happy, di ba? Pero yung ibang mga classmates ko, ayan... Okay, so this is my first delivery. So he's probably 15 years old now. Medyo malaki. Malaki na siya. Teen na siya. And this is my first OR assist. So I'm very lucky guys na meron akong mga... Um, what's this? Classmates na supportive. So sila yung kumuha ng photo na yan. So this was in the medical center of Paranaque. I can't remember the case but it's. I think it's a major case. Okay, so this is me during the candle lighting pictorial. Pero syempre, hindi yan yung formal photo for you. <laughs> and like what Sir Jeff Corrales mentioned, best in quantitative research paper where we actually um, garnered that as well and presented it in the nursing, um, what's this? Uh, nursing Congress, Research Congress. All right. Going to the last part of the talk, I promise to not bore you guys, de ba? Kasi para mas important yung questions niya, hopefully. Things to look forward to. So what are the things to look forward to, not just in nursing, but also in education? So I got this from Carson Newman, uh, Christian University from Tennessee. Okay, particularly in nursing, exciting. Alright, so there would be unprecedented job growth for nurses globally. You know, nursing is always cyclical, de ba? Every 10 years, bababa, tataas. But even pre-COVID, guys, nursing is said to be one of the top occupations for job growth through 2028. And as I check, guys, kayo ay batch 2024, which is really well within your time frame. Ayan, so another thing, wow, sino yon? So this is also me. During one of our uh, clinical uh, experiences in Manila Doctors Hospital. So, the proportion of male nurses will rise. So, I can see some mga photos, no? Medyo maraming male nurses na ngayon. And that is a... I can say, guys, that is a wise choice. So, another thing to look forward to. Not that I say that it's not happening right now. Patients are becoming more educated. So, this is like a funny... A meme I saw, like I looked up in the symptoms on the internet and I'm worried I might be dead. Which is really true, no? Yung mga patients kasi natin ngayon, usually they have access in internet and most of them, especially if you're in, assigned in a private hospital, and most of them are really, you know, talagang parang, ay, ito yung ko sa internet eh. Ito yung ano, ganto ganto blah, 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 blah. And it, it's not only happening now, it has happened before, right? This is not something new to us. But what is our role as nurses? Okay, so in 2021, especially nurse practitioners or nursing, uh, nursing uh, practitioners would be should be prepared to listen to patients' own views. Always, you know, always have an open ear because sometimes we tend to be 
defensive, right? Na parang i-shutdown mo na agad sila. So sometimes it's also nice to have an open ear. Just hear them out. Remember, nurses, you guys are nurse advocates, uh, patient advocates, right? As patient advocate, you always have the open ear and open eyes for every, you know, for everything that they would say. And after that, once you have this, you know, you absorb what they say, synthesize the information. So syempre, since you have the professional knowledge and expertise, your role is to filter what is true and what is not true so that, you know, we would always have patient safety whenever we meet our patients. So, yun yung role natin, guys, di ba? So, at least, hindi tayo mawawala kahit lahat palitan na ng machines, ang nurses nandyan pa din, di ba? Okay, holistic nursing. Yan, lagi nating narinig yan. It's gonna be more focused in the years to come. And as nurses, we would also not just see the physical, but also the mental, emotional, spiritual, and environmental strengths and weaknesses. I believe you guys have foundations of nursing na before, or maybe uh, tapos na kayo dun. And when we say environmental theory, who comes to mind? It's actually Florence Nightingale, de ba? She wrote this in the in her nur, uh, notes on nursing in uh, I think 1859 or 56. Yeah, and so uh, it's really being highlighted right now. And you know, for me, ako lang naman, no. If you guys are gonna care for a patient. Maybe before you actually care for them, have a self-introspection first. Baka si mamaya, meron kang pinagdadaanan, di ba? Tapos, mamimit mo tong patient na to, na talagang mas may pinagdadaanan. And then you tend to, you know, uh, associate yourself with that patient. And that is really unhealthy. So have a self-introspection first. And maybe if you could not handle that, it's okay to say na, oh, hindi ko muna handle tong patient na to kasi parang, you know, I have conflicts, inner conflicts right now. But of course, always make sure that you are okay muna, di ba? It's okay not to be okay nga, sabi nung isang k-drama. Before you handle difficult or maybe complicated patients. So, this is actually an interesting thing that our mother, the mother of... Nursing, the founder of Modern Nursing said, Let us never consider ourselves finished nurses. We must be learning all of our lives. And of course, it's a never-ending, diba? Never-ending learning process. It's a never-ending learning process for all of us, guys. And Titana is actually waiting for you guys to come back to the campus and continue your knowledge acquisition over there. You know, let me just leave you guys with the personal mantra that I always say, inspire and innovate Titan Nurses. And with that, I would like to thank you all for listening. Thank you and good morning. I'm ready for your questions. Thank you so much, Sir Byron. So, ayan ang mga future nurses natin. Nakikita natin sila. Hello, guys. <laughs> Keep on dreaming. Ayan. So, first, um, the three slides lang naman po. Mag-smile lang po tayo. Three, two, one. Wait lang po. Oh. 